In case you thought cloning was just a crazy concept portrayed in science fiction movies, American Eyes here to prove you wrong. Advancements are being made on a daily basis, and in places like China, they've already created farms full of cloned pigs. We're closer than we've ever been before to being able to clone a human, especially after successful clones of primates have already been created. After seeing how profitable the cloning industry is already in some parts of the world, you have to wonder how it'll progress in the future. From your beloved pets that you'd like a copy of, to attempts to bring back endangered animals, here are animals that scientists have actually cloned. But first, we'd like to give a shout out to the Savage Gamer for leaving us this comment. We asked you guys which animals you'd like to see hybridized in our insane creatures created by scientists video. Would certainly be an interesting looking specimen. Let us know in the comments section if you can clone any historical figure, who would it be and why, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 11. Creating Copies in Nature The ability to create a clone or a near exact copy of an animal possessing the same genetic material has actually been around for a little bit longer than you would think. While clones can be created naturally in nature among various different species of plants, it simply can't happen for some of the more complex species of animals out there. All clones of mammals must be created inside a laboratory. Some sea animals like jellyfish and starfish can be cloned by simply cutting them apart. They can then regenerate into separate living species. During a population control mission, several thousand sea stars were cut up and thrown back into the sea. It only got worse because each piece was able to regenerate a new sea star as long as it had parts of the central disc attached. These animals display a type of asexual reproduction where a partner isn't needed to create more. This is similar to what scientists are trying to recreate in laboratories today. Number 10. Dolly the Sheep In case you didn't already know, humans were successful in cloning a domestic sheep. Scientists use a process called nuclear transfer and she was eventually born in July of 1996. She was called the world's most famous sheep by BBC. Dolly even successfully reproduced and gave birth to triplets. She didn't reach the expected life and only lived about 6.5 years. She had to be euthanized from her severe arthritis and lung disease. So if we can clone a sheep already, what might happen if we try cloning humans? Has someone tried already not told us? Number 9. Pharmaceutical Camels You might find it hard to believe that camels can actually produce pharmaceuticals with their milk. Certain proteins are added to different medications and why not use camel's milk to make those proteins? The project with the pharmaceutical camel would be able to produce some life-saving medications such as insulin and blood clotting treatments after they refine the milk. They're mainly going for the transgenic proteins which can also be made from cows. However, since the researchers are in Dubai, why not just use camels? Camels are very resistant to their climate and they wouldn't need to feed them quite as much grass. As the technology continues to advance, it's likely that other animals will be able to produce these key ingredients to help keep people alive. The researchers in Dubai were also responsible for the first camel clone which would excel in milk production named Injaz. It was able to even give birth in 2015 to a healthy calf. Dubai is also considering cloning camels who will compete the best in camel racing as well in the future. Number 8. Ruppy the Puppy Haven't you won a dog that can glow in the dark? Who the heck wouldn't buy one? It looks like this dog here was just born to be a raver and the world's first transgenic dog was actually born in 2009. He gets the name as Ruppy, which is short for Ruby Puppy. This clone beagle actually has sea anemone DNA inside him. This took place in the country of South Korea where the previous clone dog turned out to be an imposter. But this photo here shows Ruppy glow in the dark all lit up under ultraviolet light at an early age of 10 months old. This should give you an idea how crazy technology is getting. We'll get more into clone dogs in South Korea later on in this video. Number 7. The Pyrenean Ibex This go from the Pyrenees Mountains between the border of France and Spain went extinct in 2000. Frozen skin samples were used for the genetic material required and a domestic goat was used as a surrogate mother. The population severely dwindled from hunting. This animal was quite abundant in the Middle Ages, but the number rapidly declined in the 19th and 20th centuries. Some believe it had to do with increased grazing in the area that led to a decline in the resources for it. It's one of many animals presumed extinct within the past few decades. The species was cloned, bringing it out of extinction, but it died from lung complications. This rare photo shows a clone named Celia, who was the last surviving Pyrenean ibex. Number 6. Ombretta the Mouflon 
We know on some bases that cloning might not be morally supported, but is it wrong to bring back an animal by means of cloning if it's on the verge of extinction? In case you were wondering what a mouflon is, it's a species of sheep found in Europe, similar to the pyrene ibex previously mentioned. Scientists in Iran took DNA samples from one mouflon and then inserted them into a donor egg that belonged to an unfertilized surrogate sheep egg. The method of cloning they used was successful on herds of goats, so they figured it should work well with this rare species. Many would still argue that cloning is cruel to animals who have nowhere else to live, and the focus of the scientists should be to create a better environment. There doesn't seem to be too much info on how long the umbrella lived for, but it's known that it had a healthy infancy with no mutations. If you find out how long it lived for, let us know in the comments section. Number 5. Crab Eating Macaques the possibilities really seem endless, and while it might sound like all science fiction at the moment, China has already succeeded in cloning monkeys just last year. That was a huge boundary breaker for cloning humans, especially since macaque monkeys shared 93% of the same DNA as Homo sapiens. Scientists made it seem pretty easy when they basically used the same technique used to clone Dolly the sheep. The method had originally failed to make more monkeys, but eventually it worked after thousands of attempts previously. This all happened just recently in 2018, and many believe it would be used to help combat certain illnesses like cancer or Parkinson's disease. Number 4. A Spanish Fighting Bull Spain wants to show off their cloning skills too, and they cloned one of the fiercest fighting bulls out there so it could live and fight another day. DNA from the father was inserted into a cow's egg and then placed inside a surrogate mother in 2010. The project took roughly five years to complete with a low budget of only 28,000 euro. The calf got the name of Got or Glass in Valencian and it weighed in at 24.7 kilograms or 53 pounds. What would happen if something went wrong in this experiment and there were some angry mutant cows running around during the next run of the bulls? Watch out! Number 3. The Woolly Mammoth Scientists are also looking for a way to bring back a few woolly mammoths by using an Asian elephant as a surrogate mother in an extremely expensive project. This is an international joint experiment between the countries of South Korea and Russia, and the end result would actually be a woolly mammoth and Asian elephant hybrid. There's certainly enough preserved mammoth DNA out there, but due to the cost and the complexity of the project, it's going to be at least another three years before we can see one. Other scientists have proposed using the artificial womb to avoid issues with the differences between mammoth and the Asian elephant pregnancies. Some believe the current conditions on Earth are too different for them to survive in modern times, but it's worth a shot, right? They would only be kept at zoos and would be closely observed. No one knows for sure what would happen if we release an extinct animal into the wild again, and you have to be a little bit curious if they'd done something like this in secret military bases. Number 2. Clone Pig Farm Would you be willing to eat meat at a lower price if the animal was cloned? The company known as BGI or Beijing Genomics Institute reported to be creating at least 500 cloned pigs a year at a success rate between 70 to 80 percent. Pork is actually becoming quite the commodity in China, but being able to create successful pig farms has proven to be difficult. Certain provinces eat a large amount of pork and the demand there is certainly high. However, many pig farms have been decimated by what's known as the African Swine Flu, which certainly sounds like something you want to avoid. This now brings cloning to a whole new level when it begins to be used for commercial purposes. Sows are impregnated with early stage embryos of the clones and some tinkering of their DNA might also take place. Some genes might be removed so that they can make them more susceptible to Alzheimer's disease, while others might be removed to make them stop growing at the age of one. Why don't they just try cloning some panda bears so we can keep them as a pet? And number 1. Barbara Streisand's Dog If money wasn't an issue and your beloved pet passed away, would you consider harvesting some of their DNA in order to make a clone? The loss of a pet can be like losing a family member, and maybe one way for people to cope would be to send some skin samples of their dog to South Korea and pay $100,000 and make a duplicate of them. With some advancements in recent times, that price could be as low as 50000 if you find a good dog-making laboratory. Barbara Streisand did it not only once, but twice after her beloved Catan de Toulou, named Samantha, went to doggy heaven. Her quote-unquote new dogs were cloned and given the names of Miss Scarlet and Miss Violet. Barbara claims that the dogs seem to have different personalities from their DNA donors. Originally, a company called Suam Biotech was the only company that offered the service, but a new company in Texas claims to charge only 50000 
So which one did you think was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section, and we'll see you next time.